did he choose to follow the career path he did in acting or because he was very masculine? Because he wasn't he wasn't Sidney Poitier. Sidney Poitier was very refined and kind of safe. And you know, just, yeah, yeah. Great question. In an odd way, he didn't choose acting at all. Acting chose him. He was actually he was so handsome, charismatic, famous as an NFL player that Hollywood approached him. Mm. And, and and he did a cowboy movie, uh, um, um, Rio, Rio Concho or something like that it was called, Rio Concho. And uh, it did well. And that's how he got the Dirty Dozen gig. And, you know, it, it was off from there. It was off from there. It was a career that never was as big as it should have been. Like he should have been, as one observer said in the late 60s, he should have been the black John Wayne. Mm-hmm. There was no room in Hollywood for that. Right. Instead, the way they reckoned with black masculinity in the 1970s was through black exploitation films. Now, don't get me wrong. Some of those films are classics. Uh, I could watch the Mac right now and be very happy. But at the same time, we both know a lot of those films were very shoddily made, uh, were, were very amateurish and not worthy of the talent that was in front of the camera. And Jim Brown was swept up in that as well. 